Hello, commenters. Welcome back to another episode of Planet Zoo Boarding School. Um, I lost some footage by accident. I ended up getting a new um, memory stick, and I didn't have it set up correctly for where it was being recorded to, so it kind of got all messed up. Anyway, I'll just show you a quick little rundown of everything that I built in the footage that I lost. So let's get into that. So first things the first. Mary, the same lioness that had Jesus and Jesus' sister, ended up having two more albino lions. So this is um, the worst like genes that were in them. So I named it Jesus 2's brother. But with the other one, I wasn't sure what to name it for a while. But then I decided to make it Jesus Has Risen. And then I, I think I'm going to actually just make this Jesus' brother. Because we're going to pretend like that's the same exact. Make it seem like that's the same exact Jesus that we had before. <laughs> Up next, um, we had a few. Or I don't even know about a few. We had a couple uh, llama babies. Named one Chicago because it was Kanye and Chance's baby. I want, named one Dakardi because it was the baby and Cardi B's baby. And I think that's all we had for the babies. So yeah, those are the two babies that we had in there. And then I also did some terraining just to figure out some stuff. I decided that this is going to be the Arctic area once I start putting the Arctic stuff in. So I just kind of terrained it out, checked it out a little bit. And then this is going to be like the North American area over here. That is actually the edge of the zoo, edge of the boundary that I can use. So my two albino uh, yellow anacondas actually ended up having a baby and it was also albino. But its genes aren't as good as the other females so I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of it. Also, as you can see, uh, my money is doing a lot better. I'm up to 27,000 and it really just keeps growing. It'll drop a lot every once in a while when they feed the big cats, but um, for the most part, it stays pretty healthy. So I think I'm gonna be able to start adding a bunch of scenery and stuff in pretty soon here. And uh, another thing also, I'm gonna add some transportation. Okay, another thing that I added was this little staff area. Kind of goes through the little mountainside here. Um, I end up making this area in here way too big for how much it's going to be in here because I thought I might put some um, shops and things like that in there but then I realized that this, the guests might not even go in there for any of that so I'm not going to do that like I planned but it is a staff area and it does tunnel to there and then I'll show you where this tunnel comes out at in, the, in a little bit here but I actually so I started my African area uh, this is basically going to be like a wall of some kind, like a barrier. And then there's going to be a sign like right here that says, you know, welcome to the African safari because I'm doing all African grassland, uh, from here all the way down, all the way down there. Oh my gosh. My money's growing so fast. 46,000 right now. Okay. Up next is the Nyala for this, the... I could only have five of, of them in there at a time, not counting offspring. But they are the first grassland um, African animals that I have put in, other than the lions, of course, but I don't really count those because I haven't made a good habitat for them yet. But these guys are pretty cool. They're just kind of your typical deer, uh, but they have some stripes on them, which is pretty sweet. And then the males look a bit different. Males are a lot darker and then have have like the white stripes and their horns are super cool too. They almost look like uh, like Native Americans uh, with, with like war paint on their face and across their body. So that is very, very cool. And then also it is tropical and grassland is what was there. So I took that and I made sure to add some tropical stuff in because the African grassland selection for nature is not super great. I had a little hut up here and a tent right here and then a, like a window and a few more things and it's just gone. I have no idea why that happened. Like I didn't get rid of it, I know that. And I had saved multiple times. I had even saved and then quit the game, came back and it was still there. 
and then I opened it this time and it's gone. So I don't really know what went on with that. I'm, I'm going to have some more nature and scenery up here to make the habitat look better than that. And then just actually when I got on, I added a bunch of the extra trees and stuff because it was looking pretty bare, but it's looking solid now. It's flat, but it's also African grassland, so it's not really supposed to be super hilly, I don't think. I added a few shops right here. This whole thing, I believe, is going to be shops and exhibits. Right now, though, it's just these few shops. So in the last episode, you saw me add this. I actually decided that I'm going to add transportation into the park. This is going to be one of the transportation areas, one of the stops. As you see, I have a habitat here and a habitat here. But just for future plans, just to let you guys know, this is going to be a habitat. I'm thinking maybe the lions, but also maybe cheetahs. I'm not sure. It's going to be a African cat, though. I want this to be an area that people go to a lot because I'm going to have a lot of stuff up here. That's why I'm thinking the lions because I think the lions are the most appealing animal in the game as far as like ratings go it, and if they're not the most appealing then they're very close to the most appealing as for the other two habitats this one is aardvarks uh let's see if i can find them okay here they are here the rats are the little possums you can only have two in here one female one male and then obviously they're kids they are sleeping right now Ooh, that kind of starts to look nasty really fast i used i think it's called corrugated walls for this and then I used, obviously that is like the wall. And then these, like this, this is the whole barrier. And then the, as you can see, guests can enter the habitat. So I made sure that they went in and then I put a railing up so that way the aardvarks can't climb the stairs. Then that path that I was talking about earlier actually comes out right here. I'll try to zoom through this. So this goes through. Whoa. And then eventually it comes up in the stairs up to here. See, these are the stairs. It comes up to here. And then this actually goes this way. Out to here. And then out and around. Wow, that was really bright. It goes out and around to down here. Which this is just a transformer. But in the future, this will come down into more um, habitats and things like that. So you saw that and it comes out right here also, that same tunnel that is over there. It actually connects with this tunnel that goes up through there. And then this will be my little habitat entrance for this habitat. And then this is another little staff area, which in hindsight, I wish I would have just not added that whole tunnel and made it here. But now that I did all that work, I'm definitely not putting my habitat gate here. Looks like the Nyala is mating. So let's see what that looks like. Oh, some cheek kisses I saw. It was a little bit more intense than some of the other ones. <laughs> so this is one of the first Jaguars that I got, and this is the other one. Uh, they're getting pretty old. They probably had enough for one more litter, but I actually ended up with one really good female. Anyway, I'm going to release all of... I'm going to release the original two that I got and two of their kits to the wild, and then get a new male in there. So my goal was to find the best male I possibly could. I think I'm going to roll with this one. Solid 100%, 8350. It's from Princess. Oh, look, the aardvarks are awake now. Anyway, this is the same thing. It's actually grassland and tropical. So I made it, uh, I made it mostly grassland stuff, I think but some of it is also tropical. I think this tree and that tree are both tropical. Actually, I think almost all my plants in here are tropical, <laughs> but I meant to make it more grassland, but I didn't. Anyway, this is some of the enrichment stuff. You see that a little bit with the monkeys. Uh, there's a slow feeder. I think that's might be the first slow feeder that we've actually had. Uh, a box, literally a cardboard box that it pushes around. It's its favorite enrichment item. <laughs> Looks like they're about to feed it. Tapunoma. Tapunoma. I have no idea what she just put in there. Looked like guts. Pretty solid habitat. This is from a different view. 
as you actually saw with this habitat and uh, the Niles over here, the shelter area is all just underneath. It's all natural shelter area. So this is just under a rock. Basically, it's like a cave. And then over here, it's very similar. Just a cave. Nothing in there. Just a cave. And I think that looks a lot more natural. So I'm going to do that a little bit. And then also, when it doesn't really make sense for that to be there, then uh, I'll add stuff like this guy here. Up next is the Nile Monitor, I think is how you pronounce it. They're lizards, basically. I put the aardvarks and the Nile Monitors next to each other because they both have really low appeal. So I was hoping that maybe their combined appeal would help out a bit. Um, and then also the combined appeal with whatever I put over here, like the big cats or whatever. So this is also the same grassland and tropical. Who I have to fill that in a little bit. The re actually, the reason why this isn't filled in is because I have plant coverage maxed out in here. This is maxed out plant coverage, <laughs> which is really sad because it makes it very, very small. They had a water requirement because they are reptiles. So they had a water requirement for them and that barely meets it, I think, or just like it just barely meets it or a little bit over. It's like a little water jet thing. It doesn't really work how I wanted it to, so I'm going to put it over here. So they have one male and two females only per habitat. Here's a viewing area of them. And sadly, you just can't really see them very well, and you can't even enter these guys' habitat. And then this is the other viewing area, which is a lot better. You can see them when they're up close. That's why I put this feeder right here, so that way they would go over there and do that. I use the corrugated because it's the same as over here. It's like rusty though, and I don't really like that, but I guess I'll just deal with it. And that basically does it for that habitat. So I had quick little recap. I had that one. I had the aardvarks over here and the Nyala over here. So the Nyala had offspring already. They've only been in here for just a short time, but this is what they look like. A little baby deer. I'm not sure how many they have. I haven't found a second one yet. Let me check. Wow, the other two are pregnant. <laughs> but yeah, they do. She did only have one. The other two are already pregnant also, so we could end up having a lot of those. Yeah, so this says that they only have one offspring per mating event. So they only only each have one. But with how fast they are getting pregnant, uh, we'll end up getting rid of a lot of them, I'm guessing. Because this one already had a baby and these two are pregnant. And those are the only three females that I have in the whole habitat. Now I'm going to show you the suspended gondola. So this thing I have a little bit of experience with. And I'll, I'll just show you the options real quick, just in case uh, one of you guys wants me to do something else in the future. So this is the train. I almost did this, but I really didn't want it to run along the ground because I didn't feel like making room for it yet, but I will make room for it if somebody wants me to do it. The riverboat is another option. Uh, for this, I would actually make a river that runs along the area where I'm going to put it. Then the transport monorail, uh, I don't really like this. You might as well just have the train, in my opinion. Then the adventure tour, which is also very cool. It's like a Jeep styled vehicle. And then it basically, I think it holds 12 and it just looks cool. Kind of reminds me of Jurassic Park a bit. I also like the dice on it in the window there. But for now, we're going to go with this. Okay, so when you're building a suspended gondola in Planet Zoo, you always have to do something that they don't really explain to you very well, but I'll explain it to you really quick right now. Okay, basically, you have to click on this platform right here. So click on that. This little thing will pop up. Then where it says station, click on station and then you push the place entrance button which is what i just did here place that entrance down and then you place the exit down and they do have to be on the same side i think which is really annoying but anyway so there's your entrance and exit and then connect your path and then voila
Oh my, we just had some capuchin monkey babies. Looks like we had two. Oh, and it is so cute. So that's an adult next to the baby. Not really that much difference in size. <laughs> Hard bark mating. Oh, yep, some heavy neck rubbing. Nice, solid. Another hippo baby. A male this time with really good genes. And my gators keep getting diseases. They're the only ones that really have gotten diseases on me. Oh, this is otter mating. No way. That's so much different than... That's so much different than the rest of the animals. Wow, that was cool. I have more tortoise offspring. And guys, there are 30 in here already. Here come some more tortoise babies. One. I put this at 31. 32. 33. Up to 33 tortoises. Tortoise babies. 36 tortoises in, in total. Look at all of these. Four there. I don't even know how many there. Uh, a lot there. A lot there. A couple there. And a couple more up in here. What the heck? Oh my gosh. The Nyala had more off offspring already. Probably this one. With the zoomies. Yes, sir. More. So all three of those had offspring. So our Baird Sapir is about to have offspring. I think I saw it in here earlier. Where you at? Oh, you're going to have them in the water? Anyway, the giant anteater also had offspring. Giant anteater had this little guy. Otters just had more babies. So the Nyala, the otters, the giant anteaters, the bears appeared, the capuchin monkeys, the West African lions, the hippos, and that's it. <laughs> Have all had babies literally in the last like probably five minutes of playing. And I think every other species has had one say that they are expecting offspring at least. There's the little Baird Sapir, big boy. Definitely one of the cutest offspring in the game. So our incest Florida inhabitants are about to have more offspring. It'll be interesting to see exactly uh, what the genes look like. So the old, the original pair of offspring that they had were perfect gene not perfect genes but really really good genes the next pair of offspring that they next it's uh they had three and then they had three so the next group of offspring that they had had z zero percent immunity all of them <laughs> so i'm really curious to see if this next group is also going to be zero percent immunity or if it's going to be better than that see that's one of the original babies that they had that's all of them have had gene genes very similar to that this is one of the second groups zero percent immunity <laughs> ah look at that great genes yes what about the next one yes good genes and the third one. Awesome genes. 100% immunity. <laughs> so I think with the incest um, mating in this game, it's literally like a flip of the coin, it seems like. Nicki Minaj, don't tell me this is stoop Snoop again. Nicki Minaj and the baby. No! Kanye, no, no, Kanye died, no. Oh, what? Is he rose from the dead? Kanye is saying right there, Kanye has died. And, uh, nope, they just like to stand up and then die. 
Dude, seriously though, Rihanna, then Eminem, then Dre, now Kanye. We're literally losing all the stars. Like the biggest of stars, we are losing them first. This is awful. Oh my gosh. My Jaguar had four babies. I've only ever seen them have three and I've seen it like uh, at least 10 times. Wow, look at those jeans too. That's a really, really good female. That's nuts. Oh my gosh, an almost perfect female. 92% all the rest hundreds. Oh my gosh, a really solid male. 92, 83, 100, 100. And then 100 and then some greens. Wow, that was from not two perfect parents either. That is the female, 92, 92, 167. This is the male, 183, 150 only. This female ended up 92 in three 100s. That is really crazy. I might have to keep that female right there. I had an aardvark offspring. It's like a female. Good genes. This is what the aardvark babies look like. Oh, there it goes. Wow, they are so cute. Holy crap. They are so tiny. Oh my gosh. So cute. Yeah, aw. You're damn right, aw. Now this is the full ride, and I'll just outline it with my mouse pointer here. So it goes through here, up, and there's no stops until you get all the way over here, which is right next to the hippo habitat. And then it keeps going along, goes all the way around the hippo habitat, all the way through, still no stops, goes over our swamp, then down over to the South American area. There's a stop here right in the South American zone, which will actually be kind of like the border between the Arctic and the South American zone. And then it goes up and over the original path and then over another piece of it. it and then it has a stop right in the South American zone. And then it loops back around, comes back through, and then ends at the original starting point. All right, that will just about do it for this video. I'll just let you guys watch the baby aardvark for a second here because he is so goddamn cute. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. Uh, please refer your friends. And if you haven't subscribed yet, then that would be great if you could do that as well. See you on the next one.